Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Anthony Cummins. I'm a historical researcher and author. Please enjoy the video. Hi everyone. Okay, so what does a kunai look like? So I was actually talking to Moli, the artist, the other day, the guy from India who you've seen some of his drawings on this channel, or one of them at least. We'll, we'll put more of those up because they're very good. So, um, so look out for his next one. So basically he was saying, what do we know about Kunai, Anthony? And most people will think this is a Kunai and that's what, you know, the ninjas used. And we do find Kunai in ninja manuals, without doubt. We find them in the Bansen Shukai, which is the Book of Ninja. And we find them in the Shinobi Hiden, which has been translated as Secret Shinobi Traditions. Uh, let me just check that. Yeah, the, oh, sorry, the Secret Traditions of the Shinobi. The book is over there. And we have plenty of information about Kunai and they even describe one quite positively. Uh, now, the reason I'm making this video is because everybody thinks these little kunais, they throw them like in Naruto and they're doing this. That's just not true. Kunai actually look more like that. They're about 50 centimetres long and they're rounded at this end and they have a squared spike at this end. Now, you use them to dig with. So today we're going to be supporting this book, The Ninja Skills. So do get yourself a copy of this. It's got all the stuff explained in there, easy to understand. And that is how the kunai is used. You see there? There. That is what it's used like. It's 50 centimetres long and it's got a rounded end and it's got a spiked bottom. So, oh, a spiked bottom. So that you can actually dig with it. Now, what you do do is when you're out in the wilderness, uh, not the wilderness, when you're out in going to castle fortifications, you can ram them in the earth and put... Um, ropes attached to them you can put them across moats you can attach ladders with them you can dig under holes they're called like the tool of treasure the treasure tool the you know the all-encompassing great tool now that is from the early edo period or late sengoku period i don't agree with people um disagreeing on the shinobi hiden manual date it's clearly there but uh it, it, there are multiple dates in the shinobi hiden so it's a concocted not concocted, but a sort of mixture of manuals that's put together later on. But some of the earlier parts date from 16, uh, 1560. I believe that until somebody proves it's wrong. So we've got late Sengoku period, um, early first century Edo period, all stating that these things are big, they're chunky. You you dig with them and you create as many as you can so that you can use them on your ninja missions. So when, so what I don't know is when this style of kunai comes in. I just don't know. Um, I think I've seen one historical example in a museum. Again, I haven't been able to qualify it, but that I think they do exist towards the end. However, I'm not certain of this. Has anybody seen any historical evidence whatsoever for the kunai of the, like, the modern shape? But on the whole, if you're thinking Sengoku period, you're thinking Shinobi, these guys, imagine a cloth, say, with... 15 20 of these things wrapped up over the back in leather satchels running one guy's got the kunai one guy's got the rope um you're all going through the you know the wilderness and it's like right we need to get across this uh crevasse or whatever or we need to get across this moat or we need to drop this rope down okay get a rock in it goes or dig it out and push it in attach the rope to it. it's an anchor point down we go somebody climbs up the other side anchor points across okay now we can put two let's start moving ropes across Bans and Shukai style, let's start moving stuff across on ropes. Or let's get um, the floating bridge, which basically means like, you know, it, it's not on the ground. It's just a, a bridge basically made of rope uh, with bamboo or bamboo with rope things on it. And people can walk across. These are connected with um, kunai at the bases, uh, you know, the anchor points. You've got all that sort of stuff. So basically, when you're looking about kunai guys and ninjas, you're not looking at the Naruto stuff. Sorry. Sorry about that. I've got off my phone on today. Um, so basically, you're looking for that. So here we go. Get yourself a copy of that Ninja Skills. Uh, do help me out. It's such a sort of easy to understand historical um, information set, which you can just get straight into. And it allows you to go into the deeper aspects of ninjutsu. So start with that. All right, guys. Speak to you later.